Hey guys. Welcome. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. So now we're at part two of our series. I don't know how many we're going to do, but um, it's how to preserve energy as a successful entrepreneur. Hey, Carrie Ann. <laughs> hey, Carrie Ann. Good to see you. Um, and then this one specifically, we're going to talk about sleep, sleep and exercise to maximize your energy. And um, I think this is really important because exercise for me i've had a really interesting journey we all have the same amount of time yes we don't have the same amount of energy that's <laughs> Seriously. The, that's part of the problem and a lot of us um it's kind of like the food topic that we talked about yesterday like how we get on these bad exercise kicks um and for me in the past exercise was something that i felt like i had to do it was something that it was coming from a place of scarcity and it was not coming from a place of really listening to my body and listening to what truly my body needed in the moment. I was doing it to look a certain way. And so we've kind of thrown that all out. It, we do exercise now to feel good. Stamina. Yeah. Energy. To have energy throughout the day. Longevity, right? So David Gonzalez, who we're going to tag in this because he's a beautiful person amazing human being yes he is and we started swimming every day at barton springs here in austin every day every day we did it for two weeks straight built up more stamina built up more energy feeling really really good the funny thing about it is about the first three the first time we did it, first three four days definitely felt the energy going down toward the end of the day um we went out of town new. got back on it and now by day four straight three or four straight, we feel like the energy is right back to where we were after two weeks. Yeah. So your body bounces back. So there's a level. So what we're saying is for those of you who just maybe are starting to work out or finding your morning routine with some fitness, a little bit of exercise, yeah. maybe it's a walk, a jog, you got to fight through it for the first three to four days. If you're fairly fit, fairly healthy, meaning if you're eating right, you've got a good diet. If you are struggling it might be it could be even a, a week to two weeks before you get over the hump but know this you will gain more energy you'll feel very tired and fatigued very early on and um and then you'll get the energy back you'll get in flow yep. and, and really asking yourself do you enjoy what you're doing <laughs> uh the 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 question is are you excited to do the exercise um we always try to integrate some sort of movement whether i mean you know, for right now is Barton Springs. And I literally get up and I'm excited about doing it. Same thing goes for hiking totally with our excited. dogs. We love to take them on the trail. Get in nature. Hiking. Yeah, because I feel connected. It's almost like my soul is drawing me to go exercise. And so the movement, so there's something very spiritual just about moving your body and, get, you know, because I, I know, I don't know about you, but I wake up sometimes in the morning. We talked about this last week um, and I'm not really feeling very good. Like I feel dense energy in my body. Groggy. And so one of the best ways Foggy. to pull yourself out of it is to get movement. And it doesn't necessarily mean that if you love the gym, then great, keep doing it. And if you feel aligned when you're gym, you feel powerful, um, you have tons of energy throughout the day. Um, great. Then continue to do that. If you if you're not loving what you're doing though, change it up. Try something different. You're not a tree. Yeah. You can do something different. And ask yourself, why am I doing this in the first place? For what purpose? Is somebody telling me this is what I should do? What's the highest intention of doing what I'm doing? Am I doing it to feel healthy, um, have tons of energy, and re revitalized, or <clears throat> am I doing this because I feel like I have to? Because because um, I know a lot of people, and I, I'm guilty of this in the past, that used to overwork out. It was almost a way for me to check out. And like I was saying before, it was a way for me to clear out the emotions in my body and what I was going working through. But the problem is, is I was doing to such extreme, I wasn't listening to my body at the same time, and it ended up injuring myself. So we're all free from this. But it's possible. So if you have stuff that is emotionally draining in your life, if there's stuff, trauma going on, there's another way that you can go through that stuff that doesn't have anything to do with your body. And then you can find an exercise or workout that actually fits what your body truly wants. So if you're watching this and you have a morning routine that involves working out, exercising um, in the morning, 
if, if you're getting results, great. If you're not, change it up for sure. Try doing it within 20 minutes of waking up, doing something, whether it's walking. We like to do it that way. Walking, running, swimming, stretching, something to get into immediate exercise within 20 minutes of waking up. Hey, what's up, Alfredo? Hey, Alfredo. So we're talking about morning routines. If you're just jumping on. We're talking about how to get more energy out of your exercise, out of your fitness plan, which um, a lot of us are trying to figure that out and what ways that we can sleep better and have more energy throughout the day. So within, if you're working out in the, in the morning or you're working out whenever you are, if you're not doing something within 20 minutes of waking up, try that. That is so powerful because the mind needs to get going. It helps you wake up and it's also very alert right in the beginning. So very much try working out, doing some small exercise within 20 minutes of waking up. It doesn't necessarily, like if you decide that you want to go to the gym, maybe later, like there's a class or a yoga class. Yoga is great to you sure, know, give yoga. you lots of energy and flow through your body and tremendous strength. Strength. Um, we still, even the days that we do yoga, or we're still going to the gym once in a while. Well, we yoga is amazing. On that too. Um, doing some sort of physical weight is really good for bone density. Um, so like that is later on, usually during the day. And so what we do in the morning to prime our body is we may do squats or some push-ups or some stretching, um, you know, so whatever really you're called to do though, it's, if you can do five to 10 minutes in the morning and then do your, your workout later, then that's great too. Cause then it's, it's getting you primed. I, I find that whenever we do our, our mental, emotional, and spiritual morning ritual, which we're going to talk about on uh, Monday, uh, the uh, specifics of what we do and what we go through, the meditation we do, um, if your body is coming out of movement, you're actually so much more present. You're able to go deeper and drop in and really, really focus on the creative process of manifestation. Absolutely. So if you're finding it difficult to sleep, we use some hypnosis techniques when we find it challenging to sleep. Ooh, um, also, exercise helps you sleep. Exercise does help you sleep, which it is does. where I was going to that too. Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so hypnosis we use very much to help us sleep right before bed. We read, wind down, and we'll also read different, um, different inductions to ourselves. I'll put Deb down if she's having uh, trouble sleeping. And Hannah, you're on. You recently put your comment in there, and I'll read it out loud. You recently had some some challenge sleeping and you started reading some hypnosis um, books that we recommended and you started falling asleep faster, didn't you? <laughs> it puts me down quick. So inner um, so if you're finding that you're working out in the morning but you're losing energy in the in the afternoon, that's okay. You will get more energy if you're eating right, good nutrition, and you're getting really good at sleep. And you're doing an exercise that's aligned with your body. Very much. Yeah. Gotta get sleep. Hey Shay. So give it some time to flush it out to see if it's something new that, you know, you're putting your body in a little stress. So of course you're going to feel a little bit more drained, but after two to three weeks of practicing it, it should boost your energy. Also, if you're finding low energy levels, it could be a possibility of not drinking enough water. Yeah. So in, in the afternoon, I know when we swim and we work out hard in the morning, we constantly need to be drinking a lot more fluids, a lot more water. So for some of us, may want to track your water intake um, and again get back on a nutrition to get on a, some kind of a good diet plan that works for you that's healthy clean food another thing to consider too when you're thinking about your workouts and we'll talk and how this ties into sleep too is do something that you get a little bit of sun i know in our culture we have gotten to the point where we almost shun the sun the sun is bad ah! stay out of the sun well in it's vitamin D. It's free. Yeah, overexposure the sun is not a good idea because it's bad for the skin. Over time, it you could damage your skin if you're constantly getting burned and you're not paying attention. So having a little bit of sun every single day allows you to create your natural vitamin D, which actually helps you sleep. So if you're just jumping on, we're talking about how to maximize energy throughout the day to get more done, get better results. We're talking about exercise, Dwayne, pay attention. I'm talking <laughs> hey, to Dwayne. you. I'm talking to you, man. <laughs> um, and how to get better sleep, because there's a lot of people that struggle with sleep. So we're talking about how we use hypnosis, self-hypnosis to help fall asleep, uh, to get better deep REM sleep. Um, and also that morning workout, what we were talking about is within the first 20 minutes of working out, we've been going to Barton Springs and doing a swim. We run the dogs. 
we go down a walk trail. I mean, we get some good exercise within the first 20 to 30 minutes of waking up. If you're not getting results with the exercise routine or the morning ritual you're doing now, change it up. And results we mean by feeling energized because being an entrepreneur and a business owner, you're in the process of constantly putting yourself out of the comfort zone. No. So you're stretching yourself all the time. And it really takes tremendous but I, brain power. But I want to be comfortable. Your brain but I like burns comfort. tons of calories. I like to be comfortable. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're choosing exercises that are aligned that are going to actually give you more energy so you can do what you want to do. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You you don't have to be throwing weight around. It could be a jog. It could be a walk. It could be a swim. We love swimming. Or a combination of it all. We love swimming because it's been amazing for our lungs, great for blood pressure, and Mm -hmm. it's easy on the joints. So consider swimming if you haven't. Um, Maybe lift weights twice to three times a week and then do a walk. Um, Or it's always good if you have dogs because then you're forced to walk. Then you have to walk, don't you? <laughs> so, Nothing like a little forced motivation out uh, there. Another thing that we were talking about. So let's say that um, you're having trouble sleeping. So hypnosis is a really, really powerful way. One of the inductions we do is the Dave Elman induction, which is really a rapid induction for putting you down quickly. For those of you that deeper, have joined us for Master Practitioner. And deeper, and deeper. Totally live, totally awake. Yes. And we've also, we're in the process of creating a sleep hypnosis track, if anybody's interested in it, of yeah. the combination of if all you, the things that we've learned. So if you've watched this or you know someone who's struggling with sleep, go ahead and forward and share this with them and put in the comments if you struggle with sleep. Yeah. And uh, we will get in touch with you when we get this hypnosis um, sleep recording complete. We've got one finished. We're going to do another one. And I'll tell you, sleep is everything. If you want more energy, you want to get better results in your business, your job, your career, whatever it is, have more patience, feel more love, a little more happiness. Sleep is critical. Yeah. And if you're like me in the past, I had a lot of trouble shutting off the mind, especially when you're building a business, you're doing something you've never done. You have all these things you're thinking about all the time and there's the money and all the things and you're trying, trying to, to balance asleep, it with your and family like, and your relationships. And, I don't know if I paid that. And it's like, did I call that client? I don't know if I called that client. So quiet the mind and silence it you can silence the mind using hypnosis self-hypnosis and it's easier than you think it's so easy and it's fun it is and if you have a partner or spouse that is struggling sleeping you can help them get into a relaxed state and fall asleep yeah the cool thing about hypnosis is somebody's inducing you or if you're listening to an audio track like the one we're creating um is that when you go down deep, then uh, these suggestions are percolating and getting transmitted directly to the unconscious mind. So you can suggest as you sleep, you're going to wake up feeling better than ever. You're going to have a full night's sleep and you're going to feel refreshed in the morning and you'll wake up feeling that way. So it literally is the secret to great sleep and getting a lot of sun or getting some sun, getting uh, the right amount of sun for you, getting some exercise. Dwayne, you said you can barely hear us. Is that, is there anybody else that can barely hear us? Or is it just your phone, Dwayne, that needs to be turned up? Curious. Respond in the comments if you, that'll help us. Yeah. Anybody else finding it hard to hear us with the mic? And then um, another thing we want to talk about too, when it comes to sleep, uh, you can take melatonin, though if you're getting enough vitamin D, you probably don't need it. Um, and then another thing to talk about is these. Mm. Mm. Yes. Time Those. to turn these off and get away from them. So we don't bring these into our bedroom. At all. And we do put it on, uh, on airplane mode every few nights. I just turn it off and leave it off. So Wi-Fi, um, there is tons of studies that talk about how EMF is we're all free from this damaging to our bodies. It doesn't let our cells repair and, and heal at night when we need it the most. So we believe in using technology 100% because it's it's like a love-hate relationship. You, as an entrepreneur, you're going to need to use technology. That's okay. So use it sparingly. And at night, shut it all off. You're not using your devices. You're not using your phone. So turn off the Wi-Fi at night. There's no reason why you need to have it on during the night. And turn off your cell phone as well so you can get that beautiful sleep, that deep, deep REM sleep that your body is seeking so you can get the rest renewal and you can wake up feeling refreshed. 
can you please there you go <laughs> and so and if you have more questions about that um we're not experts on it but our good friends are um dr ritter and um kelly they have a company called EMF Nights, and they actually will come to your house and scan your house to figure out- Test you know, it for EMF, EMR. EMF, and then they give you solutions, which is really powerful. And remember, it's not just what's in our house and smart meters on our house, it's neighbor's houses, yeah. and it's also satellites and antennas around our house. Just in our house in South Lamar, we have over like 740 some odd towers, radio signals, cell, cell towers, it's crazy. And we were down um, at the trail today at Barton Springs this morning, and for the very first time, it seems that they have rolled out 5G, the 5G downtown up. because it popped up on my phone. It so it popped up on the phone. Who else noticed that? If you noticed know that if 5G that. might be rolled out in Austin, which comment? <laughs> it's a great thing because it gives us all this freedom that we have through technology. At the same time, our cells aren't very happy. And so what we can do is to figure out a safe place to sleep at night so we repair, repair the body. And if you feel like you're drained all the time, you check yourself when it comes to Wi-Fi. Like some, you don't need to have your phone on you all the time. In fact, keep it away from you throughout the day and you'll see that your energy does go up. So if you're just jumping on, we're talking about sleep, we're talking about exercise, how to maintain and get more energy out of your day to get better results. Um, sleep is extremely important. Something we've been doing is a morning routine. Within the first 20 minutes of waking up early in the morning, we go down to Barton Springs and we get a nice, at least a half mile swim in. So, and we noticed, because we just got back on after being out of town, we noticed within the first two days, we were just wiped out. And then by day three, four, our energy levels came back and we now have better energy. So if you are looking for a better morning routine and 20 minutes or exercise within 20 minutes of waking up, whether it's a walk, a jog, anything like that. It's so important. If you're not getting a lot done, you're finding your, your focus scattered, you're finding yourself wandering and on Facebook or something else way too long, and you know you should be getting different, different things done, getting results, um, consider it's an energy issue, yeah. not so much a time issue. We all have the same amount of time. It's, are we, do we have the right amount of energy and enough energy to get us through the day to get results? And if you find yourself feeling drained throughout the day, then start unplugging yourself from the Wi-Fi and get outside. That's another thing. Incorporating exercises, like we said, outside, getting grounded, go outside and walk on the ground. If you get have an grounded, awesome, and by the way, yourself. if you have an awesome morning routine, share it, comment. Yeah. What is your morning routine? Comment down below. Um, share it with someone who maybe we're talking about sleep and sleep and how hypnosis can help sleep. So if you know someone who is struggling with sleep, uh, share this with them because we've got some fantastic ideas and um, techniques that we use for our sleep hypnosis. And hypnosis is actually good for an afternoon too when you start feeling um, I've worked through a lot of the two, two to four o'clock was my, my hour of just lull that was happening yep. because I was working through some other stuff. The afternoon it's a different spenders. story. Anyways, um, the actually going and laying down and doing a self guided hypnosis is just guided meditation with yourself. So I was doing this process to go down into a, a deep state of being calm and letting my body heal. And then I found that when I popped out of it, I felt truly energized. Dwayne, you're not eating cookies, are you? I know you're not, especially not in the afternoon for that after lunch crash. By the way, if you're eating sugar, <laughs> we talked about I this. I know you're not. <laughs> this, last, this last episode, stop eating crap. Yeah, seriously, guys. Stop it. Listen. The, listen. Hawaiians, the Hawaiians talked about, they, they don't do anything. Um, and we love the Hawaiians because we're initiates in um, Puna. And they, they're very smart people. They knew this stuff from, oops thousands and thousands of years around all cultures they talk about stop doing things that drain your energy stop it including drinking bad nutrition um drinking it, excessively yes of not course a, not a drink having every wine night. here and there or going out and having a celebration um overdoing the coffee and the stimulants i know that i've done that yep. mm -hmm. Absolutely. yes adrenal fatigue all those things are going to drain your energy and <laughs> same so thing know. good Dwayne. I'm and glad i've and i've and I've heard the, the excuse, well, I don't have the money to invest in my food or I don't have the time to meal prep. Same thing goes for working out. I don't have time. It doesn't matter. You Re make time. Remember, that's an, 
that's a value. So how important is our health? Because the thing about the, the reason why we work out and we're very more, we're so much more conscious of the things we put in our body, nutrition, um, it's focus. It gives us more focus. It allows us to help more people. And in all, we end up making more money and earning more money because we've got more energy. So you're, if really you don't make the time, that. your body will. Brian Johnson says, um, what's his tagline? If you don't make time for your for health, illness, you'll make time for your one. sickness. Or if you don't make time for your uh, your health, wellness. You'll make your wellness, you'll make time for your illness. Seriously. It's so important. And this is why people get burnout is because they don't integrate all the things. They don't create space and time to really, truly eat healthy and also be telling themselves powerful stories when they're eating the food. Be very conscious of what's going on in your internal dialogue when you're eating. Same thing goes for exercise. If you don't take time out to exercise long term, you're not going to have the energy that you want. You could, we're all free from this, get burnout. That's another thing I wanted to talk about now that I just, it came back to me. Um, when you're working out, the, what, the story that you're telling yourself when you're working out is self-hypnosis, by the way. Yeah. So everything that you say to yourself is self hypnosis. I was it's just, affirmations. I was just on the phone yesterday um, with a guy that is going to be coming to the training um, in in September, and he. I told him. I said, "You know what you're saying to yourself." I said, "You you you don't know what hypnosis is, do you?" I said, "You're hypnotizing yourself. Yes. You're hypnotizing yourself because you keep telling yourself this story of about dyslexia." That's a story. If you can't spell, I can't read, I can't learn fast, delete, delete, and eliminate and reject. That. And that's just a story that you're hypnotizing yourself with. And there's so many of us walking around with a story that's fabricated in our mind. It's a facade. It's like this brick veneer. That's it. So bring it back is. around when, you, when you're exercising, tell your body you're getting stronger and stronger. You're, you're learning getting, easily you're and effortlessly. You're getting lean and you're getting healthy. You have more energy. And every time that you're working out and pumping the iron, like when I'm swimming, I, I imagine myself all the long, lean muscle, muscle mass. And I just imagine myself, my lungs growing. And I imagine all the cells in my body healing from the beautiful water. I feel so rejuvenated when I get out. Same thing goes for your story about sleeping. I used to tell myself, and, I, and I'm even um, guilty of talking about this in the training because I like to share the story, but I would talk about how I would always freak myself out and not be able to sleep. And so I kept creating that over and over and over again. So if you catch yourself saying like, oh, I don't get sleep. It's hard for me to sleep. It's hard for me to wind down. It's hard for me to turn it off. All those things, those are suggestions to the unconscious mind. And you're hypnotizing yourself to do exactly what you don't want. Yep. So that's something we really are turning it on to another level. Listen, we talk a lot about the language. We talk about hypnosis. We talk about how society's programming us and that's all great information that's going inside. That's what we're feeding our minds, right? The big thing is what are we feeding our bodies? And some of us have got to take another look and get more conscious and, and really dissect the details of what we actually eat. Um, a buddy of mine, Brian Johnson and I, we went to this um, a food healing, talked a lot about nutrition. And I'll tell you, there's some really great nutrition out there. And there's a lot of false, false information about you know, cooking with palm oil. There's palm oil in almost every processed food you can possibly imagine. Steer clear from the processed food. Canola oil and palm oil, two oils that are absolutely not healthy for your it's body. Garbage. So those are two tips that if you're cooking with canola oil, you're cooking with blah, 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 whatever recipe it calls for, throw that crap out, first of all, because that's not a very good recipe. That oil does not break down, and it, um, it creates free radicals in the body. And so that's not good. The body can't break that down. Um, I know we don't have to talk about high fructose corn syrup, do we? No. I did see at Trader Joe's a little while back that there's organic high fructose corn syrup. That's like Ooh. clean trash. <laughs> My, that's like clean trash. I, I never found clean trash yet. Anyways, so get healthy with our nutrition. Really look at, and if you don't know what that it looks like, comment below. If you're like, hey, I don't know what to eat. You don't know what's going on. I'll tell you diet is everything. It's really going to feed. It's going to be, it's going to be um, extremely important for you to gain more energy, to get more done. And you'll actually find yourself being able to focus a lot longer on tasks, business, sales calls, whatever it is. And start muscle testing it. Just like we talked about um, last 
Facebook Live and we gave you the tool, the human pendulum, start muscle testing your food and how much food and what amount and you know what vitamins you're putting. Same thing for exercise. You can muscle test if, if this is aligned with what your body wants. Ooh, the sun, that's a good point, Hannah. The sun, Where? how do, how do you think we can capture the sun's energy? Right, we can go lay out. We can get some free D, some vitamin D, which a lot of us don't get enough of, by the way. Or you can eat it. Or you can eat the sun with the green food that you. Have. You can eat the sun. How? In the form of chlorophyll. Yes. In plants, eat more salad. Definitely. We love salad. We love salad. So make sure you're having salad with at least every meal. So task for today is to find something that you truly love to do that you feel your body is aligned with for exercise and implement it. Absolutely. So, and if you're, if you already have a workout regimen, great. Um, test it to see if it's aligned with what you, your body really wants and start doing a little bit in the morning if you're not already. So if you're just jumping on and you're watching this, we, um, we're talking about how to get more energy out of your day, starting with an, an early morning exercise, the first 20 minutes you wake up. If you have a really good morning routine, comment below and we'd love to, to, to hear about it. If it works for you, fantastic. If you have a morning routine or you're trying to find a morning routine, join us next um, Monday. Jo join us. Oh yeah, it's Labor Day. So? We'll be on anyways. Holiday. They can hear it. What does that there. mean? This is our holiday. <laughs> We're gonna swim regardless. Yes. So we we recently adopted a, a morning ritual um, a few weeks back. Then we had a, went out of town. Is swimming every morning at Barton Springs within the first twenty minutes of waking up. We usually do it right between six to six thirty a.m. We run the dogs early, early, and I'll tell you, swimming is amazing for our lungs. It's great for our joints. Uh, we find it the most healing thing you could possibly be in especially because it's in the springs and it's not chlorine and all. And chemicals. you're getting vitamin d at a, a really d. good time of the day to where it's not the harsh sun fresh morning sun which yep. is beautiful you get to see the sun rise can't beat that you and i love meditation. it because you have to be there at a certain hour so <laughs> it forces you to wake up which forces you to go to bed early which brings us back to the sleep start winding down Turn off the TV. Turn off the TV, by the way. Start reading by 8 p.m. Yes. Try this. If you're not sleeping well, try reading, reading and journaling by 8 p.m. And you'll begin to realize that when you turn off electronics and get away from foveal, you kind of go out and expand outward. Before you know it, you're actually falling asleep. You're actually realizing, wow, because of the workout in the morning and you ate healthy all day, you're going to find yourself actually wanting to fall asleep earlier. That's what we found. Yeah. And reading really helps put me down as well. Um, another thing to consider is they have these blue block blocker, <laughs> blue blocker um, glasses that you can wear. So if you are <laughs> on your doing. screen um, around six to seven to eight o'clock, if there's something that you must be doing on the computer, uh, you can block out the blue color, which actually helps your body wind down. Hannah's getting some vitamin D as she's watching this. Yes. You can too. Good. Maybe you are. Maybe you also are. So get a little bit of sun, get some exercise that fuels your body and exercise should be fun. It doesn't have to be crazy. It could be a walk. It could be a jog exercise. And ask yourself, why are you truly exercising? What it is should it be for? Fun. Get, get what's important to you about that, right? Yeah. Exercise is a value. And if you're not doing it, then that just means it needs to rise up and be a more important value. So you're more aware of it. Um, and tune in on um, Monday because we're going to talk about the morning ritual that we do and our evening ritual as well. Yeah. Yes. One thing you really want to consider, I'll leave you with this with when it comes to nutrition is get conscious of it. Start really reading labels, do your research. Don't believe us. Do your research on a lot of the food and the nutrition that's out there, especially in processed foods. Start eating more vegetables, start eating more greens. Um, you know, there's some amazing smoothie recipes out there as long as there's healthy stuff in it. High antioxidants, blueberries, goji berries, um, bell peppers. <laughs> we just posted a thing. I'm going to make some some uh, some red bell pepper. I call it pepper paste. Pepper paste. It's so and good. It's an antioxidant. It's um it's it's it heals amazing things. Um, so really get conscious of our nutrition. We can't just worry about what we put in our mind. It's also what goes in our body. And if that's not important to us, it probably should be by now, especially if we're not getting the results that we want to to see. Um, so health, nutrition, exercise, exercise, exercise. It doesn't have to be crazy. It could be a walk, it could be a jog, maybe a mile a day, maybe two miles. 
whatever you can uh, can withstand. Um, and limit your time on the Wi-Fi. Uh, turn the thing off at night. I cannot stress this enough. My sleeping absolutely transformed when we stopped having Wi-Fi at night. Electro, I, I'm more sensitive than some people. Electromagnetic radiation. Yes. Um, and by the way, if you can't feel it, you're probably not in tune with your body. So yeah. <laughs> getting hypnosis, using hypnosis, actually to put your mind at rapport with your body, that's one thing, the mind-body connection. If you can't feel EMR, EMF, or radiation of any kind, chances are you're just out of rapport with your body because we can feel a lot of things just like when you're working out, you know when you need water, you know when you need food. A lot of people, you know, don't drink enough water. Well, people don't even know it exists. That's the thing. It's it, most people not, I mean, some people do, but a lot of people don't know that Wi-Fi is actually heart hurting us in our environment. Well, the waves have to go somewhere. Yes. We can't just all of a sudden have a signal. <laughs> so we? go outside and get grounded. If you feel like Be you're in nature, yes, get go outside, get grounded, get some sun, and make sure that you turn it off at night. Yes. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. If you're looking for a good morning routine, comment below. If you have one, comment below. Share this with someone if they have a challenge or problem with sleep. Um, we can definitely reach out to them. We use hypnosis to get great sleep. Um, and, and also share uh, share our group. Share our group. Our group. We the, want to grow the group. The community. The community. The Edgar Training community of like-minded thinkers that are entrepreneurs going out there and creating an extraordinary life. We all have one friend that's a little unconscious, don't we? We could probably share that with them. It might help them become We're a little people more people that are out there producing. Aware or right? totally aware people. But we want to learn from all of you too. Of course. So one of the things we're going to start implementing too is that we're going to have experts come in and talk about their magic. So it's going to be not just us talking, we want to interview and we want to learn from everybody that in the community. So if you have any ideas, if anybody wants to uh, join us, or you these know, conversations, someone... these deep conversations. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. To get all on, right. To get on the path. We love you all. If you're looking for the path, you're on the path. Share this and share the community and we will see you on Monday. Even though it's Labor Day, we'll be here. Deb and Brandon. Yes. Ah, see ya. Have a great, great weekend. Bye. Bye.